8.15 two string name, uh, look at 8.7 and also 8.11 before doing this. Now try it on your own because it's not that hard, I promise. If you've come up to this point with the previous videos that are in the description below the like button, um, this should be pretty simple. If not though, let's go over it. So we know we have a public class, right, that we made, we made this class, just like a scanner class, whatever class you have, it's called name. So we have public class name and inside of our public class name, we have some private variables. So we have like private first name, um, we have like private uh, last name, and we have like a private middle initial, right? This is just pseudocode, so I'm not actually coding anything right now. We have some methods that we put in here in the past, and now we want to add another method, a two string method, that's just going to print something like this. Very similar to 8.11. So for our method, it's going to be a public. We want it to return a string, right? So it's gonna do be a string, and it's called two string. We're not passing any parameters in, but inside of here, we just want to return our first name. We notice we have a space in between these. We have our middle initial, and then we have our um, period. Then we also have our last name. And then we can end this. And we should be good to go. Pressing submit should solve our problem. Let's see, we can't find this right here. So probably spelled the wrong middle initial. I think I spelled that right. I'll just respell it entirely. I'm, a, I'm, I'm in computer science, computer engineering, not in spelling. So running that, we pass photo for tests. Now, if you're wondering where these variables come from, I would be too, um, super confusing. So let's actually go back and look at this. So 8.11 looks something like this, right? Very similar to our two string that we have right here. 8.7 is name where we have these private variables. So remember a public class name where we have these private variables and we're accessing them in here to help us solve for us. So that's how we look at that practice problem.